This story is called Alice's Little Tree. It's written and illustrated by Bob Graham. High above the city, on the 15th floor, a little tree grew. Its leaves fluttered in the breeze through the window, but its roots stood firm in its pot. It was the perfect little tree, and Alice was the perfect little baby. While Alice grew and grew, her mom cut the leaves off of the little tree to stop it from growing too much. The little tree sat safely in its pot on the windowsill. The little tree's leaves turned brown in the autumn. Alice wriggled and kicked in her bed as she laid next to Derby the dog, made by her mom. The tree's branches were bare in the winter. Alice sometimes had bare legs too while her wet clothes dried on the radiator. Next to them lay Big Boy, a large, soft toy egg made by her dad. When new leaves sprouted on the tree in the spring, Alice crawled like a little crab across the floor. In the summer, she stood up for a moment by the little tree, but then down she came with a bump. Oops! Luckily, her nappy protected her. When Alice began to walk, she had lots of good ideas. One day, she threw poor old Derby in the air and watched him land on the little tree. So Dad moved the little tree out of Alice's reach. Alice said her first words while crossing the waste ground around the corner from the flat. Car keys, she said. Car keys, repeated Mom, dangling her bunch of keys in front of Alice. Alice bit hard on the keys. Her mom took them back all wet and shiny. I think she's getting more teeth, said Dad. For her second birthday, Alice's mom made a tiny city out of shoe boxes. Each building opened, and inside were paper people made by Dad. Paper clothes for the paper people were hanging from a washing line tied to the little tree. Alice's birthday cake was in the shape of a key. It had chocolate trickling down the sides. Soon, everyone had chocolate all over their fingers and clothes. At Christmas, Alice helped to decorate the little tree with six colorful lights. Alice's presents was in bubble wrap. It was a box of figures for her cardboard city. She took out some of the figures and placed them under the tree. There was a man in a suit, a woman in a hurry, a railway porter, a goat, and a brown plastic bear. But this is the best bit, said Dad. You jump up and down on the plastic bubbles and make them pop. Time passes and nothing stays the same. Alice grew bigger. She got new clothes, new shoes, new socks, a new school bag, new friends at school, and a new baby sister named Kate. Kate slept in Alice's bed with Big Boy and Derby the dog. The little tree had not gotten any bigger. It was still on the windowsill. One day, a pigeon tried to nest in the tiny tree. Baby Kate blinked as the bird flapped its wings and then suddenly, smash! The little tree fell to the floor. Oh no! There it lay, with its roots in the air. The room went quiet. Then Dad picked up the little tree and said, Follow me! They went down 15 floors to the street. Alice took a spoon, Mom took a broom, Dad took some water, and of course, baby Kate. They crossed the road. Dad moved all the rubbish to one corner of the waste ground. They made a hole with the spoon and gently placed the tree in it. Mom watered the tree. The little plastic people and the bear were in Alice's pocket. She set them down under the little tree. Oh dear, that little tree's probably going to come to a sad end, said Dad. Or maybe it's a happy beginning, said Mom. Alice was now tall enough to push the elevator buttons herself. She liked the way they all lit up. That was long ago. Now, Alice and Kate are grown up and have children of their own. They bring the children to visit Grandma and Grandpa. They all meet under the little tree that has grown very big at last, with birds' nests on its branches. The End